Welcome to something crunchy. Tyler is homies with Blake. Blake is the older bro of Blair. Blair is married to Tyler and is a slutty slut slut. Welcome to something crunchy. What the hell is crunchy? Welcome to something crunchy. All right, back in the studio with Nasty and Hepatitis B. Oh, Let's put them up. My. <laughs> Oh, God. Boy. How are we feeling tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I had to work with the theme here, Blake. Cool. Uh, <laughs> if I was any more juiced, I'd be popping positive. <laughs> Y'all. Well done. Oh, man. What an intro for this song. Well, every so often, we'll get an idea for a segment or crunchtastic R&D departmental <laughs> float of Linkovich Tomoski our way. Float a biscuit down It's earth. just like delightfully disgusting and so much so that it doesn't fit into any other episode with other segments. They always get pushed aside. No, you gotta go like full zone disgust. Tonight, we're just gonna put them all together. If it works, it could happen again. So <laughs> let's just keep our... Our minds open. Let's just keep our minds open <laughs> yeah, here. I'm, I'm, I'm here with you. I'm, Hope I'm for a the bit best scared. And call this the first installment of the Ultimate Gross Out episode. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to something nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> um, we're going to start with some stories. Okay. I got some good stories. Like... <laughs> got some good stories. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's some nasty, funny, it's gonna be bad, isn't gross it? Well, we're going to break things down out there. by source and by subject. Yeah. Okay. The first one, we're going more medical, if you Ooh, will. I'm into it. With help by Jezebel, I picked three of their 10 of the grossest stories you've ever heard. Nice. This first one oh. is called The Pumpkin Seed Story. My mouth's watering already. By Becky. Okay. This is a delightful tale. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> My junior year of undergrad, I had a deplorable diet. Every now and then, the convenience store near my dorm would get packages of pumpkin seeds, which I loved to eat while writing papers. One day, while I was shopping, I noticed that they had restocked. Since they were prone to running out quickly, I decided to go ahead and buy all of the pumpkin seeds that they had. This in itself wasn't bad. What was bad was that in a fury of writing deadlines, I ate all of them. I had pumpkin seeds for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, and as a midnight snack while doing research. <laughs> Gross. Overload. Know where this is headed. A day or so later, I noticed I hadn't pooped in a while. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I was sitting in class. I was feeling all bloated and all around crappy. I felt like I'm might finally have to poop. So I left to go to the bathroom, but as much as I strained, nothing came out. I wiped a little bit and examined my poop. Looked white. Weird, I thought, not quite making the connection yet. The next day, I still hadn't pooped, despite several vigorous and painful attempts. Oh, no. I did a little fishing to discover what the problem was. What I found was pumpkin seed fragments. There was absolutely no fecal matter, just shards of pumpkin seeds. It felt like I was trying to poo wood chips. Oh. So I finally ventured off campus to a real store, CVS, and stocked up on everything I could think of to remove the chips. I bought oh. laxatives, an enema, prunes, and lubricant. I tried the enema first, but the mass of pumpkin seeds was blocking my attempts to squirt anything up there. I then tried to lube my fingers oh and insert them, God. but moving the seed shrapnel only pushed them upward, oh. which hurt really, really bad. I even got out my vibrator, turned it up to full speed, and pushed it on the skin above my butthole, trying to shake the seeds loose. Oh no luck. <laughs> Creative. I eventually gave up. I took two times the recommended amount of lexatives and began to munch on the prunes. Oh. Then I waited. <laughs> <laughs> Eight agony filled hours later, it was time. Oh. <laughs> I put a sign up on the communal bathroom door that said I was sick and to please use the bathroom in the next hallway over. Then I tried to push 
it was so painful and I was really struggling. Oh. I alternated between pushing and raking them out with my fingers. Oh. My abdomen was killing me. So I got in the dorm shower and sat down, gross in its own oh. right, oh. aiming the stream of water at my stomach. My muscles relax, and I suddenly felt like I was about to blow up. I tried to bear down a little to see if I could scrape any more out when the whole disgusting mass of pumpkin seed burst out of my ass and splattered across the shower wall. It was literally an explosion of pumpkin seeds, and it had about a four-foot radius. Now, mind you, there was absolutely no brown in this explosion. Oh, my God. going to lose it. No shit. No shit. Zero shit. Shitless. Just shards of seed. And whole prunes. That sounds so painful. <laughs> and whole prunes. And whole prunes. Needless to say, I felt amazing after this and kind of sat there laughing like an insane person for a minute. I was so relieved. <laughs> it definitely rivaled even the most intense orgasm I've ever had in terms of release. It was incredible. After I composed myself, <laughs> I washed the walls of the shower, gathered oh. up the discarded seed parts, which all together were the size of a whole cantaloupe. Oh my god. <laughs> Moral of the story includes some variety in your diet. Also, I'm gross. <laughs> I love that story. That was disgusting, but it was amazing. Wow. At the same time. That's where we're going tonight. Yeah. Disgusting and amazing. Pumpkins. I'll never think of pumpkin seeds again without I was literally gonna be like, thinking mm, about that. I love pumpkin seeds before this story. Oh, that's good. Oh my gosh. All right. This I'm next one, I got a tummy ache. I know. That's how I'm like, I don't <laughs> feel good. Watering, and I got a tummy We're ache. We're just getting started. <laughs> yeah, this is like the first story. Oh, this next one already. is called He Had Me in Stitches by Josephine. <laughs> I had what's called a precipitous birth, which is to say I had a freakishly short labor, 40 minutes start to finish. A fast labor is not ideal, not least because the body doesn't go through the process of preparation. The vaginal walls don't get the time to expand and do their thing. There's no easing out the big-ass baby. In a precipitous labor, the baby makes their own exit. At least mine did. He just blasted his way out, all near 10 pounds of him, tearing me stem to stern and ripping me literally, literally a new asshole. Oh, yeah. (laughs) But that's not the worst of it. After giving me a Tylenol 3, no time for anesthetic, the doctors proceeded to make speedy work of stitching me back up. I was bleeding heavily. That happens when a living being burst full form out of your body. And everyone was in danger, danger, emergency mode and working furiously to rebuild me. Every moment of which I could feel. When suddenly I heard one of them say, oh no. I'll skip the narrative of what followed, but in sum, one of the surgeons had been unable to see what he was doing through all the blood and gore and had stitched his finger to my nethers. Oh. Stitched what? his finger to my nethers. No. He came to see me, finger and bandage, the next day and apologize. I actually felt badly for him for about three minutes until I shifted my ass and remembered that I was the one that had the worst of the deal. Turns out that my finger stitching repair job on my parts. (laughs) My doctor later had to draw me a picture to illustrate. It's taken over two years to recover, and I still haven't dared to look down below to see what the Franken vulva actually looks like. Oh my god. I'm feeling for them so hard. Can you imagine? Uh, Like, what are you doing sewing your finger to muscle? Like, I'm already ripped. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast, buddy. (laughs) Come on now. (laughs) Like, what is happening? I picked three of their top ten. Here's the third one. This one was called Mangina (laughs) by Stu. (laughs) Stu? My grossest moment came in July 2008 when I developed a MRSA infection in a terrible place. Right between my balls and my ass. Oh. Now, this was no ordinary staph infection That's either. That's the worst place to get one. How do you get more? This one was huge. Oh, it no. measured to be about six centimeters long, four oh. centimeters wide, and over two centimeters deep. As soon as I got to the hospital and a doctor looks at it, he says, we need to cut that open and drain it right away. So basically, they made a six centimeter long incision on my taint, giving me a full-blown mangina. 
The typical treatment is a healthy dose of bacterium along with keeping the infected area clean and packed with gauze to absorb the pus. So starting at the hospital and continuing for the next three weeks, I had to have a gauze changed out of my mangina twice a day. You don't really appreciate how big the infection was until you see all of the gauze come out. Oh my god! Not only did I have to change out all of the gauze in my mangina twice a day, it was so painful and so big that I had to have a nurse come to my apartment and change it for me. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Oh, my God. Extra vulnerable. Thank you, Stu. (laughs) Thank you, Stu. We feel bad for you, buddy. I hope your MRSA got cleared up. Yeah. These are awesome. Hope your mangina closed up. (laughs) Tyler, I understand that uh, you have a handful from Reddit here. Uh, Yeah, I got a couple. A couple good ones from Reddit. Oh, man. Me too. What was it called? The Museum of... Nastiness. The grossest, nastiest thing. Museum filth collection. Oh, the museum filth collection. Yeah, of course. Well, this is going to be good. I knew you were going to bring something good. It's a compilation of the nastiest stories from Reddit. Top 20. I pulled three or four. Make me proud. Nothing tops the Jolly Rancher story. (laughs) You're starting with the, like, like my pumpkin seed, like, to start with the good ones? Just, you know, I mean, there's other ones that I would believe could rival, maybe top, but... (laughs) In uh, the eyes of rival the creator, nothing tops the Jolly Rancher story. Let's hear it. Steve and his girlfriend, Samantha, went off to college in August. She went to Florida State. He went to Penn. So she decides to fly to PA to visit him. He was really happy to see her, so he decided to give her a little oral action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. (laughs) He had done this numerous (laughs) times before. And he's always enjoyed doing it. But for some reason, this time, she smelled really horrible. (laughs) She tasted even worse. He didn't want to offend her, though, because he hadn't seen her in months. So he popped a Jolly Rancher in his mouth to cover it up, even though it didn't do much to help. In the course of eating her out, he accidentally pushed the candy inside her. (laughs) Stuck a finger in, you know, give it the old scoop. Try and grab it out. He took it out. And put it back in his mouth and bit it. Only it wasn't the Jolly Rancher. It was a nodule of gonorrhea. (laughs) Oh my god. As in the blister-like structure that gonorrhea makes filled with disease. Plus was the size of a fucking Jolly Rancher. And the poor guy bit it. I'm going to throw up. I guess it was really dark in the room. He freaked out and started vomiting all over the place. when It exploded in his mouth. He demanded to know what was going on. Turns out she had cheated on him at the club like the first week of college. And oh. fuck some random guy and the stupid bitch had no clue what was wrong. Although she did oh. notice the strange smell. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sick. <laughs> I'm turning green for sure. Pretty nasty. Oh my god. Pretty nasty. This was a bad I, idea. I, this was I, an can, awful I can already idea. tell you this probably won't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> First and last <laughs> installment of something nasty. Oh, oh man. My. We don't want you to throw up, but if you do, we want to hear about yeah. it. <laughs> what made you yak? Do you have a gross story that'll make us throw up like that one? So here's a uh, comment to that story. This is a follow up comment to the story. <laughs> oh, I bet that got some good comments. <laughs> Hundreds. I'm sure. I, I have a good comment and follow up to that. <laughs> What's that? Well, I thought I could really hang with that story until the like the nodule. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> yeah. That was the uh, that was just. It was all ugh. fun and games until the gonorrhea. <laughs> we might have to add nodule to our list later. I went on a little spree, got a little happy at the uh, the sex toy store, came home with a handful of stuff. One was this like three pack set of like vibration gadgets you can attach to different body parts <laughs> okay yeah like one for like a digit one for the ween one for the tongue sounds sure. like the g vibe Tyler's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not g vibe but it's I'm like familiar it. with the g vibe it's not it's not but it was like a, <laughs> it's like a three pack it's actually working pretty good i've got this stuff all attached all over me like things are working very very well and then I'm in with the digit. I lose that sucker in there. Oh, no, it fell off. Like, right as I was getting where we needed to go, I lost it. Uh, I lost no. it. Oh, I lost it. Did you find it? Well, let's cut 10 minutes later where I'm looking up YouTube videos and trying to Google, like, how to 
get re- it out. How to remove foreign object from vagina. Oh my God. Oh, no. You're like, I dropped She's it. freaking out. I'm like, don't worry. I've been to the hospital for sex stuff. It's perfectly fine. They're like, like oh, <laughs> hey, Blake, welcome back. Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, young lady? <laughs> what got stuck this time? <laughs> what do you do, do you? We had to squat. We had to not squat. Lay down. I'm fishing. She's fishing. It was a nightmare. <laughs> it was awful. But still, no gonorrhea, no nodule. I'm still a little Uh-oh. green, eh? Uh-oh. That, yeah. That that'll be hard hand. to escape my brain right now. So here's the follow-up to that. This one. If that one didn't get you going, this one Please might. Please tell me it doesn't get worse like, than that. A little bit. Oh, Tyler James. I work in an emergency room. One time we had a patient who had a colostomy. For those who don't know, this is a surgically placed hole in the abdomen where mm-hmm. shit comes out, mm-hmm. basically. Mm-hmm. After the colon is rerouted away from your b-hole. Anywho, some girl comes in once with an infection in her stoma. Oh, Turns out no. it was gonorrhea. Her oh. husband had been cheating on her, picked it up, and had been fucking it into her stoma. Into what? You shut your mouth. <laughs> you shut your hole. What? Strange tales of the ER. Wow. Are you serious? Excuse me, ma'am. What have you been doing with this thing? Has someone been fucking your stomach? Not supposed to fuck it. <laughs> you're not supposed to fuck it. <laughs> Keep clean. Don't fuck it. <laughs> Things you're not supposed yeah. to fuck. We recommended you swabbed it twice a day. I think you misheard. <laughs> Those were not the instructions. <laughs> oh, my God. And look what happened. And now you have gonorrhea in your hole. Like, oh my God. <laughs> look what you did. Now you got gonorrhea in your hole. Look at your stomach. Uh, good story from Jay Snoots. Oh, Jay man. Jay Snoots tore a hole in his ball sack on a rusty nail. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I was working at summer Ten camp. This one there. We had to put the docks in the lake at the beginning of the summer. We had to carry the floating docks down and put them in place and attach them, all that good stuff. They would get a bit worn over the winter and with the freeze and the snow. I was sitting on the dock with my legs in the water when we were done. I was wearing a pair of Umbro shorts, very thin material. And I decided to go for a quick dip. Put my hands on either side of my thighs and picked myself up an inch, slid forward into the water. Did not see the rusty nail head sticking up between my legs and I slid over it. As I entered the water, a terrible pain filled my crotch and spread throughout my body. I had torn open my ball sack on a rusty nail head. Oh. As I popped oh. up from under the water screaming, my coworkers were laughing because they thought I was screaming from the water being so cold. <laughs> like I wish that was my problem right now. <laughs> it didn't even start to bleed right away. The nail head had torn right down the center line of my sack. Oh. <laughs> I could see my balls and the oh. tubes. Oh, all that. My. Yeah. Ooh. Right down the it, middle. Like, my balls hurt <laughs> so bad I'm, right my, now. My penis is completely migrated north into my body. Reading oh. the story right now. <laughs> After a quick look, he's I north did of not, the wall. <laughs> totally. <laughs> it's in Canada. After a quick look, I did not look again because it made me feel lightheaded. I was bundled in, into the truck and hauled ass to the emergency room. My ball sack and nuts after the initial swelling were no worse for the wear. You can't really see any scar now because it's right down the center line. Some stitches and antibiotics and a tetanus shot. I was good as new. Oh. The pain's pretty bad, but not as bad as you would think. Weird, right? One more edit. Weird. Testicles are white and look fat covered. <laughs> <laughs> I love the description of the end because it's like, I know you're all wondering what it looked What's like. What's it look like, man? What's it look what like? It look like? <laughs> tell us what it looked like. Hey, man, is it bad? What's it look like? <laughs> what color was it? Just tell us what color it was. <laughs> That's good. Oh, rusty nail. I had like, a similar situation with the old clippers. We did so you write up and they find like a nice wrinkle or like a yeah. a line that's already there to work with. You couldn't even tell. Right. It's no big deal. My dog. Can't see the line. Should you look? Baby D, baby D. Capital fun. What's in your ham wall? Can't see the line. Can't the 
all right, I'm drunk. Let's get it out there. When I was younger, I only took shits like three times a week <laughs> instead of every day like a normal kid. I also ate a shit ton. So these tri-weekly shits would more often than not be generously proportioned. <laughs> I clogged their toilets so much and my parents would get pissed. The problem was these monster shits weren't going anywhere, so I had to get creative. Enter the poop scissors. <laughs> Oh my god. A nice, strong, <laughs> sturdy <laughs> pair of scissors Stop. from the junk drawer. If I took a shit and I felt it was too big, no problem. I just use my poop scissors and chop it up into pieces, <laughs> thus making it flushable. As you poop may imagine, <laughs> they got used quite often and poop got caked onto them real fast. <laughs> Gotta clean those suckers. <laughs> I quickly realized that these scissors could never be used normal (laughs) ever again. So each time I was finished, (laughs) I wrapped them up in a handkerchief and hid them in my closet. (laughs) Hide my poop scissors. (laughs) I haven't used them in like eight years or so, but they're still there. (laughs) There's Casey Needham. Don't use my poop scissors. (laughs) Somebody's going to stumble upon those poopy scissors one day (laughs) what the hell these for smell like shit (laughs) trying to do some crafting and these scissors are fucking disgusting smell like shit to you (laughs) yes (laughs) does this look like shit (laughs) oh Oh my god that's hilarious oh my god I can't that was awesome so it's already just gonna kill me I don't feel so good. No, I know. But I'm laughing at the same time. That was hilarious. Those were really funny. Uh, um, you can't go disgusto without talking about like some bugs and insects. Uh, Could you do some blurbs on, yeah. on creepy crawlers? All That's right. good blurby. BuzzFeed provided 17 unspeakably gross insect horror stories. It's got a handful here for you. A couple of these are pretty good. I was living in a pretty run-down rooming house. I hadn't used my blow dryer in a few months. When I finally did, I turned it on and a colony of cockroaches exploded on my face. Oh, 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 my God. Take on. I would flip. Flip. Oh, my God. I have a panic attack. I would chunk in the mirror, just like scream and run. (laughs) This one's called Never Go Camping. I woke up in the middle of the night. Felt tingling in my throat and mouth. Oh my god, no. I put my chin on my chest, looking down my body. Three moths were walking up my chest towards my face. I coughed and spit. Two moths had climbed inside my mouth while I slept. Oh. One had made it far into my mouth and was oh. attempting to climb down my throat. Oh. So it took over ten minutes of coughing and spitting to get the moths out. They had scurried on the floor for a bit and then just flew away (gasps) like they hadn't just scarred me for life. (laughs) Oh, no. Jared B2. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Freaking out in your throat. like Mm -mm. Nothing worse than Mm -mm. waking up to something like that. And you don't want it in your mouth. It's one thing to see it. It's another thing to feel it. And then something else to taste it. Let's get to tasting. Never drink chocolate milk. I mixed up a big glass of Nestle's Quick and ice-cold milk. Mm. At first mouthful, I felt something odd and huge on my tongue and spit a gigantic roach into the sink. From what? What? Deb from Facebook. Out of the the milk? Out of the chocolate milk. It was in the powder. It was in the powder. Mixed mixed that roach into the milk and drank it. Took a big sip of Dizzy Roach. (laughs) <laughs> oh, so <laughs> gross. Oh, my God. Oh, y'all. There's a lot of roachy so ones. Because they're the worst. <laughs> oh, I hate roaches. <laughs> You're getting cringy. I'm not sleeping tonight. Blake's getting cringy over here. I don't like here. the bugs. I just don't like the nah. bugs. Never play a recorder. I must have been about 10, and like most kids that age, had a recorder for music class. I hadn't played the thing in months and found it lying on my closet floor. When I put the recorder to my mouth, several earwigs that had inhabited the instrument decided that my mouth looked like a better home. Earwigs in my mouth. I've never been the same. Kit Hamley from Facebook. I would never be the same. Most people 
don't know what earwigs are. Oh. Most people aren't freaking out. Oh, yeah. No. If you don't, they're Australian for the most part. And they look like a combination of a beetle and a scorpion. Yeah. And you need to Google images this thing right now. Oh, my because God. Because it's disgusting. Like, oh, it would never, definitely ooh. never be the same. Nope. No go. Speaking of burrowing creatures, I was the uh, firsthand experience over here with chiggers oh. all up and oh, down my legs. Don't chiggers. miss chiggers. While I was doing some military time in Texas. Mm, I was going to say, it's like. That's so Texas. That's so Texas. Yeah. Only place I saw chiggers. Took like three months before somebody was like, oh, those are chiggers you got in your legs while I just bled out of my legs mm-hmm. all day, mm-hmm. stuck to my sheets like, at what? night. And I'm like, are what does that mean? Thing. They're like, oh, yeah, it's a burrowing insect. It goes under your skin and lays eggs. Oh, yeah. and you have to be so delicate in the way that you take them out because if you don't, then the head will get stuck and then just like keep burrowing my buddy was like oh yeah just put clear fingernail polish on it and i did it like three days later they were gone yeah i've been dying for three months with these things all over my legs then it suffocated them and yeah and that was it Mm. they were gone nasty chiggers burrowing creatures (laughs) (laughs) never go to sleep i woke up in my bed covered in hundreds of centipedes non-poisonous northern ones they were curled up next to my head, crawling all over my face, and even curled up around my nether regions. I have no idea why it happened, and it never happened again. Joe Odell from Facebook. What? Just set a few out of it. Ugh. They're creepy to look at. They're they one, are. One the way of the that worst. they move are just like Poisonous or not. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Scorpion, centipedes, no both of those. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. No thanks. Never have a boyfriend. One time I had an ex-boyfriend catch and throw a lightning bug at me. It managed to fly in my ear and began (sighs) digging up while I screamed. My mother didn't believe it was in my ear until my ear started glowing. Managed to get it out with a safety pin and a lot of caution. Luckily, (laughs) both the bug and my ex lived to see another day. Victoria. Started glowing. (laughs) Oh my God. What story does that not remind you of? Bug story. Crazy bug story. Oh. June bugs, also big in Texas, rare sighting elsewhere. Small um, looking brown beetle. Under the lights, you'll see them just a million of them up there. And like grasshoppers or crickets oh, yeah. with a like bunch of lights. They're all outside June bugs. and she just starts getting all weirded out. June then bug in the ear. After going to the hospital and they're like, um, there's a June bug. Clawed just on her eardrum, on her ear ruined drum. a lot of her hearing oh, yeah. in that ear. Nasty. Ugh. Oh. Never clean. When I was a teenager, I worked as a hotel maid. One day while I was cleaning a room, I noticed there was a ton of dust on the very top of the blinds. These windows went all the way up to the ceiling, so I had to use one of those super long dusting things and stand directly underneath it in order to reach. Then all of this dust started falling in slow motion. Then I realized it wasn't dust, but several hundred baby spiders they were raining down onto my face into my hair down my shirt literally everywhere no i spent the rest of my shift picking baby spiders off of myself then went home and took the longest shower of my life Uh in Aaron shepherd facebook oh my gosh (laughs) i can't (laughs) Oh, <laughs> I'm just like shaking. It's so bad. Oh my God. Spiders. Can't do spiders. No. Mm-mm. no. I watched my dad step on a scorpion and there was hundreds of babies on the back of the, the scorpion that he stomped and then they just scattered from underneath the shoes oh. all over everywhere and freaked me out. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh my God. Ugh. Can't do scorpions. Never be late for school. I grew up on an island and had to take a ferry to the mainland to get to school. If you missed a normal ferry, you had to take the freight boat, which carries all of the garbage trucks. Mornings are not my thing, so naturally one day I found myself walking between the garbage trucks in the worst kind of walk of shame imaginable. When the ferry hit the dock, I was smack in the middle of the freight deck and the garbage trucks, and literally, it started raining maggots. There were maggots in my hair, in my bag, under my clothes. Literally everywhere they could possibly get. Even at the end of the day, I was still finding maggots crawling out of my bag. Disgusting. I let girl one, two, three. (laughs) 
<laughs> oh, maggots are gross. Yeah. Oh, that's so It'll... cringy. Never have, a, never have a Christmas tree. My family was preparing presents on Christmas Eve. I went to tie a bow around one of the presents and noticed a moderately sized bug on the floor. I looked around the room to see dozens upon dozens, probably hundreds of these bugs everywhere. They were baby praying mantises. Oh, cool. It seems a praying mantis laid eggs in our Christmas tree, and the warmth from the lights made them hatch early. To top it off, praying mantises were endangered in the state where I live, so the exterminator couldn't get rid of them. My mom was running around with a fly swatter and a bug spray. My older brother was trying to catch them in a jar, yelling, you can't kill the bugs. <laughs> At Christmas, our fully decorated tree sat on, on the curb. We also found dead yeah. praying mantises oh, yeah, yeah. around the house for months afterwards. It's been over a decade, and I still will not agree to a real Christmas tree ever. Oh, no. my God. Kendra Rogers. Oh. You know, I bet that happens a lot with Christmas trees, where, like, I mean, they're out there. You know there's Especially stuff living in them. Especially if you're going out to cut them down. Oh, yeah, from the woods. It's like, there's obviously things living in there. Yeah. I don't like that endangered thing where, like, you can't do something and about like, well, it. they're like, sorry. It reminds don't me. You kill them. We had a huge, huge hive. <laughs> it was a hive in our backyard. I mean, this thing was nasty. It was a giant, it was a ball of bees, the, bigger than I've ever seen. Really? Yes. Like from the movies, the one that hang off the tree branch and it's all gray and the one that killed Thomas J. It was my girl. No way. It was. Oh. And so I'm freaking out. I prep myself. I look like. Walter White from Breaking Bad before I'm so out be ready to go out there. To no, no, the I'm not. Like <laughs> no, no, I'm not. The only fi- thing I find is this like little can of had a little bit of raid left in it, and I go out there and I'm yeah, like, that'll work. I'm prepped. I got sunglasses, hoodie over in the middle of summer, wrapped it over my head, face covered. I get out there and I go underneath and I spray it. It's like it looks like I'm spraying a little bit of hairspray <laughs> yeah. underneath. They were not phased really? at all. Huh. So then, Raid, huh? so then I go to uh, smells good. Yeah. So then I go to Home Depot, or Lowe's, one of those places, and I go into the guy. I'm like, I got a huge hive. <laughs> I got to kill a ton of bees. I need your best bee killer. And he's like, You can't kill bees. You, it, bees are it, saving it, he, he was yeah. like, He goes, It's illegal to to kill bees in the state or right now. He goes, You can't kill For bees. Sure. And he's kind of giving me his face. And I go, did I say bees? I meant to say hornets. <laughs> I got just like, I have, did I say bees? I have this gigantic hornet's nest that I had to get rid of. And he was like, oh, totally this way. I'll 12. <laughs> <laughs> hornet spray. Is right and so, here. yeah, I go and I get like, I double up on this hornet spray. I get the two pack going for the eco size. And I go back and I'm Walter White back up and they're gone. The oh, whole, there? the whole ball is gone. <laughs> Just that little bit of red, huh? And, and it was your mom that explained to me that they were just there in passing. They're migrating, and they they stop in different places and chill. And they were probably just like, hanging. you're cute with your rain, but yeah. we're leaving yeah. soon anyway. They're like, we're just taking a nap. Like, jeez. Yeah. Can't even take a nap around here <sighs> anymore. We've been coming here for a billion years. You've been here for like <laughs> six months. The effect that it had on them was like, that stinks a little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were sweet. Just making us uncomfortable. Yeah. But... You were sweet. Yeah. <laughs> we'll move down the block. <laughs> Never jump in a pile of leaves. When I was seven, I decided it would be fun to jump in a huge pile of leaves in my backyard. Probably wouldn't have been sure. fun if there hadn't been a hornet's nest inside of them. Oh, 26 no. stings and many years later, oh, no. I still cry when a bee comes near me. Megan P. That's Very terrifying. Hornet's nest. Stung <laughs> yeah. 26 times. That's we had a like lot. we had like six hornets nests around we did. our we front backyard. We thought we had backyard. like one or two, or like that were around. We're like we should probably times. assess this, and there's like there's like a hundred yeah. out here, and it's like what? If there's a prospect that I'm gonna get stung one time, I'm gonna girl out so hard. Yeah, I just called a guy. So far past you just call the guy. shame and embarrassment, it's way past that. <laughs> I don't just even call care. A guy. It's so much easier. I don't even care. I throw something at it. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, run away. Boogie out. Never go inside Usually a cabin. Successful. I was going camping with my boyfriend. We stopped at his brother's hunting cabin on our way up to grab some gear that was stored there. 
No one had been there for a month or two. We were inside and noticed that my legs were black. Slowly, I realized that it was the hot summer and I'm wearing shorts. And then, holy shit, the black just moved. I was yes. literally covered in fleas <gasps> from the waist down. Oh, what? And I mean covered, as in I couldn't see my flesh underneath all the fleas. What? I can't even describe the horror I felt as we ran the hell out of there and frantically doused ourselves in bug spray. The worst part was that, of course, we left behind phones, keys, etc., in our haste to run for our lives. So someone had to go back in there and get everything. <laughs> <sighs> Who's going? Shiny Not it. <laughs> Not it. Nose goes. Oh, Ooh. covered in fleas. Covered like, how does fleas. that happen? Like, instantly you get in there and it's just like. Mm. <sighs> Here you go, Tyler. Need some pant- flea pants. Never go to Texas. Growing up in the very country ranch parts of Texas means my absolute biggest fear in the world. Scorpions. Scorpions. A very pregnant female. And they basically get huge was crawling on my ceiling and started cool. having babies that fell onto the floor oh. and scattered right above me, followed no. by her falling. Oh. I'm a professional paranormal investigator, and I live for hauntings. But scorpions, nope. <laughs> no. Alyssa, nope. Oh. oh, I couldn't do it. <laughs> babies falling from the ceiling, scorpion babies. Uh-uh. I don't like it. Keep your scorpion babies Keep to yourself. Keep your scorpion babies out here. Mm-mm. Never take a bath. When I was little, about six or so, I finally convinced my parents to let me take a bath all by myself, run it and everything. I got all my bubbles, washcloths, shampoo, etc., ready to go. I got naked, got into the tub, turned on the water. To my dismay, the only thing that came out of the faucet were fucking cockroaches. Oh. Hundreds of them. Oh. Apparently, oh. our complex had an infestation. Oh, my Carson. God. No water, straight cockroaches? Straight cockroaches. That's Ooh, uh, disgusting. Straight uh, <laughs> Never go to an educational bug show. Duh. <laughs> oh, yeah. When I was in the second grade, I went to an educational bug show at the local library. The audience was seated in a circle on the floor, and the presenter took great delight in showing us some giant bug species. A giant millipede of death, large blue beetle the size of an iPod, when he held in his hands as he went around from person to person. Of course, when he reached me, he dropped the beetle down my shorts since I was oh, sitting with my knees up. My. Have you seen that scene in The Mummy where the scarab beetle is scurrying around under the people's clothing? Yeah, it's no fun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <my laughs> God. He, he tried to stick his hand up my shorts to retrieve the oh, precious beetle before God. I crushed it in sheer panic. Luckily, yeah. my mom stopped him and dug out the crazy beetle before it went towards places it didn't belong. Oh, the entire God, room cheered nightmare. when she retrieved it, still alive, and flung it towards the presenter. <laughs> Andy from Facebook. <laughs> oh, my God. So you have like... <laughs> His hand down your pants. And a crazy big bug. You yeah. got a huge bug <laughs> down your pants. Your mom's hands down your pants. Like, <laughs> sounds like a trip. Everybody, sounds like a trip. Get out what of my if, pants. No, that's a field trip. <laughs> Can everyone just get, stay out of my pants? This last one here is just called, Oh My God. I was in the Peace Corps in East Africa. When they take you to your site, they drop you off in front of your house. Or for myself, it was a mud and tin hut with all of your stuff around you. It was too dark, so I didn't put up my mosquito net. First mistake. I was a good volunteer, so I just draped it over me and laid it down my side, hoping mosquitoes wouldn't get me. They could, but I was tired. Darkness descends. The cockroaches crawl up out of the pit toilet outside of my hut. Giant ones, like up to three inches. Uh-huh. As do the camel spiders. Oh, no way. I'm, nope, 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 nope. I'm laying on a no. two-inch thick pallet mattress on a gravel floor with a mosquito net draped over my body and literally hundreds of cockroaches crawling all over my body just on the other side of a thin netting. The flashlight I shone once on the wall beside my head showed a solid reddish brown mass of the bugs. I ended up with my backpack on my face to get the net and cockroach legs away from my skin in a plank position awake for most of the night silently crying. Couldn't open my mouth just in case any weaseled the way underneath the pallet mattress oh and net. Oh my god. Oh my god. Camel That's spiders? No. Awful. Have you ever seen a camel spider bear? Roaches and spiders and skeeters <laughs> and spiders. Oh no. No. Hell no. no thanks. Hell no. You ever seen Hell a camel no. spider? 
It's huge, isn't it? It's huge. It's nasty. It's prehistoric. Uh, no. I couldn't handle it. We got to move on. We got to yak. I want to talk about the most disgusting words in the English language. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hate that. Can we just have a quick conversation uh, yeah. about the most disgusting ones? I have a handful for you oh, if you can't you think of me off the top of your too. brain because I have a list. I got a few that are just like, they're disgusting to me, probably not to anybody else, but just like things in my relatively brain. Gross. Relatively gross. Relatively gross and puberty is, is real nasty. <laughs> just puberty. like the word? The word puberty. Makes me like that's a good one. Drool a little bit. Let's talk about a couple of these. Thought catalog provided moist and twenty eight other gross sounding oh, English words God, that everyone hates. Blair's Number favorite. one on my list. I'm going to go through a Moisture. handful of these just to get some of them out there. Number one was obviously the moist maker. <laughs> yeah. Number two is blog. Blog is a gross sounding word, but it's kind of people what? hate it because it was overused, probably too. Uh, For sure. Yeah. Got yeah. a blog. It's a buzzword. Like, right. Shut up. No one cares. Smear. 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 It's better than smear. Flim. Yeah. Fetus. E. Curd. E. That's, yeah, curdle. Squirt. <laughs> I like that. Panties. What's wrong with panties? Munch. Mm. Chunky. Chunky. <laughs> Orifice. <laughs> Orifice. <laughs> Orifice. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Just you have saying to make, you have to you make have sure to like, and say it with all 12 syllables. because your face gets weird or, as or you right. say it too. So it's like just like all around. So you got maggots, queasy, bulbous, pustule, I'm queasy fester, after all the secret, yeah. slurps, mucus, dripping, jowls, <laughs> jowls, clogged, vomit. Those are some good ones. <laughs> Let's move on because these ones hit a little bit closer to home and they have some definitions. Oh. Bustle provided the grossest words in the English language, according to Reddit, that will make you shudder in disgust. The first one, and I have mixed feelings about it because I'm a huge fan. I love to use it, but I do agree. It's one of the grossest words ever. <laughs> yeah. Schmagma. 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 The secretion Liquid hot of a sebaceous schmagma. gland, specifically the cheesy sebaceous matter that collects between the gland's penis and the foreskin <laughs> or around the clitoris and labia minora. Schmigma. Schmigma. <laughs> I love you that word too. You can't say it without laughing. I, no, love, I it love it and Shmigma. I hate it. Schmigma. Schmigma. <laughs> Moist. Moist. Oh, y'all. Moist. I'm Definition sick. slightly or moderately wet, damp. Moist. <laughs> Moist. Moisture. It's hard to even find like a replacement word. Like, I say yeah. we go drive some moisture trucks after we have some moisture energy drinks. I hate y'all so much. <laughs> Put it on your moisture card. <laughs> um, you must be hating this segment uh, right now, huh? I'm hating this segment right now. So oh. This is one of the worst ones ever for me. I hate this. Slough. 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 Oh. Definition something that may shed or cast <laughs> off to separate in form of dead tissue from living tissue. Oh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Slough it no. right off. No. I can't schluff at oh, yeah, all. I've, I've seen no. some. I can't oh my god! Some war wounds just schluffing. A slough is a slough. A slough. <laughs> pustule, definition: <laughs> a small circumcised That's elevation of skin containing pus and having an inflamed yeah. base. Engorge. They also have phlegm, ointment, masticate. Mm -hmm. Definition: to, to grind or crush food. Puce. Puce. The definition puce. is a dark red. Now there's puce, pustule, pus. We shouldn't like things. <laughs> All the P words, starting really. With P and U, yeah. clearly. There's just certain P words. That are now this one good also, good. they added daddy when used by an adult. And Oh, yeah. I agree. I get it. Spanky that is daddy. Like that just, kind of crap. Just yeah, any time. There's just a... Dang, Anyone daddy. over a certain <laughs> exactly. age should never use the word daddy in almost any context, yeah. unless you're talking about a child referring to their daddy. Like it's if, just, if any man mm -mm. said, who's your daddy or yeah. anything daddy is like, mm -mm. It's weird a, now. That's a no go. It's weird. Are you ready to hear my top five most hated words? <laughs> yeah. Or nastiest words in the English language. Sure. They're not the most hated. The first one is secrete. 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 <laughs> I hate it. You don't like it. Secretion? Mm -hmm. No. You don't no. like that oh, one either? Oh, God. Ooh. No. Secreted? No. No. That's like number one. I hate it. I just can't stand it. 
<laughs> slough right behind it. Yeah. Secrete oh. is like a tough one. Hurt. Three. Curd. You don't like curds? Curd. That sounds just disgusting. It's on a menu. Like, you don't know? Number four, believe it or not, Blair could be surprised. These last two, they're the ones that I enjoy saying too much, but they're still the nastiest words, is moist and, and schmegma. Moist is on my list. It is the nastiest sounding of word course. ever. If you didn't hate it more than I did, where I have to use it in order to like <laughs> disturb you. I, I mean, you fight through just disgusting. Yes, I do. You're sweetly. Small wins. <laughs> Hit me with your list, beef. We all know what's at the top of my list. We do. Let's and not, I'm not even go there. Say it. No. Well, could you say it just for? No. No. I don't know. I think everyone remembers what what word you're talking about. You actually, shut your mouth. Tyler, do you remember what word it was? I have no idea what's going on right now. You yeah. always know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, Blair said it. <laughs> Blake, you made her say it. It hurts my face. You so. said it. Okay. I also have crusty. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Crusty. I don't know. Just something about like crusty. Just, yeah. like, just like is off putting. But I love using crusty. It's like a I fun know. 90s adjective. It's just so crusty. Crusty demons. Remember that? Country. Okay, and I definitely have pustule. Ooh, you don't like look. pustule. Anything pussy, really. Which I love to watch, like all the pimple popper. I love all that kind of stuff. But like that word, like pustule and anything like that. That's right. It sounds infected. Like- and if our listeners want to know why we do this, is because of all the YouTube videos and because Dr. Pimple Popper's out there and my feet are killing me and all the nasty stuff yeah. on TLC. I know you want to hear yeah. it. There's an appetite for disgusting. Yeah. So don't pretend I also like have- you don't want this. We got your fix. Also have on my list mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Wait, no, it's mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. I hate. I just hate mayonnaise. I really just hate everything about it. It's I hate mayonnaise. Saying it. <laughs> oh, it is. It is a gross substance. word. Like I just it's think gross. everything about it's it gross. is just like. How about miracle whip? Are you are you a miracle? It whip all kind of has the same thing for me. Like it. It's not quite the. It's not mayonnaise. The same. Mayonnaise. The word in just everything behind no. it. She hates. I just don't like it. I mean, it squirts always like <laughs> one that just gets. Uh, You're not into squirt. Uh, I mean, it's just like. <laughs> it's like your favorite thing words. to do, but yeah. it's your least favorite word. Well, Tyler. What's on your list over there, Squirt? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what's not on my list, Squirt. <laughs> It's <laughs> oh, funny. Yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, with that said, let's take a break. Enjoying something crunchy? Follow us on social media and tweet us your comments and questions at crunch underscore cast. We encourage you to participate and thank you for listening. Sick. <laughs> oh my god, oh. seriously. That was Blair's Green. Oh nasty. So bad. I almost uked. Blair almost uked. That I was, might that still you. I'm alright. We're gonna move on. Still keep it a little nasty, but we're gonna move to annoyances. We've done this yes. before. <laughs> we had a good time. I wanna go back to some annoyances. We've refreshed our list. Yes. I say we go back. Want to hear what pinches your pole, Tyler? <laughs> what splashes my asshole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start because I have this one that I know we all share. Yeah. When networks take all of the best parts out of a movie to make it suitable for TV. It's a totally oh. different movie by the Why time. Why even play it on TV if you're not going to show Is all the parts we want to see? It really teaches my chong. <laughs> totally shanks my flop shot. You know it really clips my nips. What's that? <laughs> when you dump your coffee all over your car because you forgot it was on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> like what happened to me this week? Oh, Blair, that'll rip your tits oh. right off. <laughs> <laughs> you know it slaps my sister <laughs> <laughs> when you have an appointment made. But still have to fucking wait somewhere, like a doctor's office. You're getting a haircut. Oh my god, yeah. It's like I made an appointment. Or like so when I have to keep waiting. Or when you don't have an appointment made or anything, but still have to fucking wait somewhere. <laughs> waiting in Just general. Overall waiting. Really? I fucking hate that. Gnaws on my knob. 
who pushes my peen in <laughs> and somebody makes an appointment to come to see you in like a two hour window and then after the two hour window has expired they reschedule. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like where the I've fuck were you sat two hours the ago? What the fuck? Blair yeah. what puts a turd in your purse. <laughs> I almost really lost pr- my beer. <laughs> <laughs> It really probes my panties. <laughs> What's that? When there's product stickers that are just impossible to get off. Oh. When you're like, oh my god, I'm like so excited about that? like my new this or that, and you just like go to take off like that little or huge product sticker that takes over the whole thing. That really shoots my sheriff. <laughs> you know what Janine's my Garoppolo. <laughs> <laughs> when you're taken to an awesome salad buffet place and your crunch mates just watch you load up on an oversized <laughs> novelty plate of salad without telling you there's a plethora of other good shit around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> there's obviously more than just salad. <laughs> nobody it, nobody told me. It's a salad bar, but they got <laughs> more stuff around the corner. <laughs> you just start here, sir. Like you're going all out on that salad. Yeah. Like that's the only thing you're getting here. Saying that really frost my tips. <laughs> I would sweat my pits too, man. <laughs> Tell you what else fold your ween. <laughs> when you make a process and you put it into place and it makes everybody's life easier and then people start to complain because they stop doing the process and their job gets harder again. <laughs> right? Go back to the process. That's why I made you a fucking process. That's why the process is in place. <laughs> Follow the process. Nothing else ices my kicker more than that. <laughs> Blair would tears your condom. That really splits my ends. It's when you go home decor shopping during the holidays. Can't do it. And you, know, you just want like something like every day, nothing specific holiday to it, but like it's November, December, so the people there just freak out on you. <laughs> I literally ask for like a couch cushion or a pillow and it's like, you it's not it. Christmas. What are you, you thinking? It. It's December. And it's like, whoa, just need a damn couch cushion. Fuck. Yeah, it really pukes at my Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> totally hemorrhages my hemorrhoids. Right. Uno snaps my flap. <laughs> what shits your sheets, man? <laughs> when you go to a convenience store and ask if they have any limes and they send you to like the beer cooler <laughs> where there's only one crusty light green lemon <laughs> hybrid on a shelf and it's the old buy two, get one deal. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Stop. You spoil it. Uh, it totally murders oh, my boner. Oh, fuck. It plucks my berries. <laughs> You know what migrates my nuts? <laughs> Festival <laughs> lines. Oh, oh, that'll fist your biscuit. Core. You Just spend lines. two hours in line to get in. You get in. All the cool stuff has a line that's 45 minutes long. By the time you get out of there, you just spent your whole day standing in line. Oh, man. I'm so with you. You know, it puts a stain on my sundress. <laughs> Man, when people try to add to a line from the side instead of getting in the back. Oh, no oh, cutsies. You know, no I was at cutsies. Subway the other It had been forever since I've even been to a Subway. But I'm like, I'm going to go to Subway today. There was like a full-on soccer team. There was one guy in front of me, and then all of a sudden there was 15. And they're all like, oh, hey, man. I'm just like, hello. <laughs> there was someone else in line here. <laughs> Swamps my ass when people do that. Yeah. <laughs> Ruins my orgasm. You know, Stacy's my Kurosi. <laughs> when it's time to turn on a show you're really into and realize that the finale was on last week and you feel oh, like an ass hat with man. a remote in your hand for a minute or two. <laughs> and it's just sad. Oh. It's just sad. Hate that. Gives me irritable Blake syndrome. <laughs> Blake's place got IBS sometimes. <laughs> uh, it irritable comes Blake on. <laughs> You don't know what's going to happen. Is he going to shit himself? Is he going to kill somebody? It's IBS. Who knows? <laughs> totally moistens my mood. <laughs> Blair, what else flogs your molly? Oh, man. I mean, what really sogs my cereal is when no one RSVPs. Like, apparently that's just, like, not a thing anymore. Like, nobody RSVPs. Check a box, bitch. What's the anything? fucking problem here? You come in or not? It's all about the RSVP. Just, like... Let us know. It totally <laughs> shrinks my shirts when people right? do that. You know what peels my lemons? <laughs> when your super stacked football team with Super Bowl expectations goes 8-8 eight and eight and misses the playoffs. Oh, boy. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah, it really starches my jeans. At least you got eight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at least you my got guts. <laughs> When everybody's looking at me to say something funny here, and I got nothing left to say. <laughs> oh, Tyler. <laughs> when when you ran out of list. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That, that I don't know, really drop the soap, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, really chops my cheat cheese. What leeches your gooch, Blair? <laughs> <laughs> when you have a fuzzy in your eye that you just, like, can't ever get out. Oh, and it just yeah. ruins your life until you can. For a Ugh. week. Until your body just... Expels oh it from your body. I can't focus on anything else until that fuzzy gets out, and I will just rip my eye apart to try <laughs> yeah. and get it out sometime. It really woodies my Harrelson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what licks my whisker biscuit? When my double sided belt pulls out my man hairs from Ooh, the yeah. it's got that like interchangeable switch the buckle over Ugh. with the hinge and the hinge yeah. just pulls oh. my, yeah. my, my my pubers. Harry's your Henderson. <laughs> <laughs> Harry's my conic junior, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'll tell you what spits on my burger. When you wake up with a serious case of long dong, don't find out until you sit on the toilet and dunk your tip in. <laughs> you just drowned your Monroe. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, like y'all. all the length, yeah. but none of the rigidity. <laughs> really puts a snake on my plane. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> oh, you know, it really twists my tats. <laughs> Just a negative Nancy. Oh, I hate them Nancy. You're just trying to have a good, positive day. Someone can... negs you out, really and... pickles your pee hole. Right? Yeah. You're like, don't hate bring that, that shit over here. Blows your O-ring. <laughs> Tell you what swatches my botch. Calling a deal with any phone or cable company. Uh, Getting trapped and oh, fighting with the automated system, the weights, the transfers. Customer service. What really grips my shit is when they... Treated brick and mortar store and the people over the phone like it's two completely separate entities, basically different companies. <laughs> Hate that. Really marshes my mellow. <laughs> <laughs> Smashes your burger. <laughs> you know, it really dries my hoo ha. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah B. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's when people hover. Or stand too close. Lead her in. It's just like, excuse me. Fuck you're up. in line and they're just that. all up in your ass. And you're like, can I have some personal space? It really walks my dog. <laughs> you know, it chaps my cheeks. <laughs> when you're watching your niece play with a bunch of random kids somewhere. And there's that distinctly older kid who shouldn't be there. Begins playing too aggressively. You want to slap the Legos out of his mouth. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes. Definitely. I get you. I'll tell you what else pisses in my pebbles, fruity or cocoa. <laughs> when you go with your grandfather to the grocery store to help him get all of his groceries a couple times a week, and every time he makes you steal strawberries <laughs> by combining the best of three Find to four cartons best. and making sure that the one super carton is filled all the way to the top. <laughs> Yeah. Really spins my pinwheel. Yeah. I get it. You know what sogs my cereal? It's just people that don't have proper elevator etiquette. Like, I got a kid. I have a toddler. I'm like, okay, let's step back and let everybody get off the elevator. And when you do it, and kids just like run over yours and they're just like, excuse me. Kids are assholes. Oh my God. (laughs) They really are. (laughs) Your kid's like, what? I watched a herd of teenage kids just run over triplet two-year-olds and didn't even care until we said, hey, we saw that, a-holes. Hey. Hey. A-hole. (laughs) A-holes. Can you not run over our kids? Quit stomping the babies. (laughs) Well, I'll tell you what really plugs my pipe. (laughs) When you wake up sweetly spooning your dog... (laughs) Only to open your eyes and see it's their ass staring back at you in the face. Not their face. Mm-hmm. Oh. Either that or when you wear a size 14 shoe and need to buy shoes. Mm. Yeah, that leeches my gooch. <laughs> <laughs> Blair, any other grind your gears that you need to get out? I mean, there's one more thing that just really melts my ice cream. <laughs> 
That's just break <laughs> checkers. Like, why? Why oh, are you break checking me? I mean, it could just be all drivers in general, but I'd like to be more specific. You got to be more specific. And go with brake checkers because it's like a lot, like I get it where if we're trying to find out where you're going, I'm terrible at directions. I get it. But it's like you do it more than once. You're, you're trying mess, to You're get messing it. with me and yeah. like, I'm not having it. Mama Bear's got the claws out. Don't you brake check me twice. Mine's people on their phones. Yeah. Can't stand the oh, people on the phone things. Walking on their phone, texting on their phone. Just no, in the car, driving. In the car, drive. Oh, everything. I've been hit by two teenage girls who were on their phones. Oh, no. Like, just... Get off your phone. Get off your phone. It's all about that hands-free. Well, this has been another episode of Something Crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> this Something has been, disgusting. This has been another gross <laughs> episode <laughs> of Something Squishy. Don't ever forget... To live your crunchiest life and always be crunchy to one another. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, and all that crunchy good shit. Thank you for listening. Enter the poop scissors. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude.